keep their cinnamon. Yeah, no. Cinnamon. Hey you guys, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> welcome to another video. If you don't know, which you probably know, this is my sister Hannah. Hello. We are best friends. She's visiting us and we thought it would be fun to film like an easy vegan recipe video or just like meals and slash snacks that are easy for grab on the go. I get questions like that all the time. Do you? Definitely. I definitely get questions about that too. Um, I think it's there's so many wonderful recipes online and I love how creative vegans are getting their always new recipes coming out. Yeah, and for me, the best way for me to be able to have a really sustainable lifestyle while making most of my foods from scratch for our family is to create foods that are easy to grab and go throughout the day. So yeah. things like muffins and um, like dates with nut butter on top and hemp seeds sprinkled. And we're also gonna make like a What's it called again? Pasta. Oh, mason jar salad. We're also gonna make mason jar salads, which I think is just perfect because then when we want a salad, but we're like, oh, the idea of chopping everything, spending an extra 20 minutes for the whole family would just be like a lot. Another thing I wanna say too about making this lifestyle like less intimidating is to not make new recipes every single time you're cooking. Find what you really love and create staples for yourself, having you know, like 10 dinner staples that you already have memorized, so you're not just having to look at recipes all the time. Yeah. So we're gonna make muffins first, and then we're also gonna make like a creamy pasta salad, which just sounds so good right now, and it's the perfect type of meal to keep in the fridge, and then grab and go when the kids are hungry. So that's what we're gonna start with. Let's get started. So we're gonna make banana nut muffins to start, and I just love making muffins. So the perfect snack for us to have whenever one of us are hungry for a snack, and it's already pre-made, made of wholesome plant foods. Yeah, and I feel like if you want to add more calories to muffins, you can easily you can easily add some more nut butter on top, or um, eat it alongside some fruit. It'd be a great snack. So we're just kind of eyeballing these bananas. So we're gonna add maple syrup, apple cider vinegar, plant milk, any kind of nut butter you want. I chose macadamia nut butter because it's local here. Now I'm gonna add the dry ingredients. I'm gonna add three and a half cups of oat flour, which I just blend oats to make my own oat flour. And about, I'm just like very rough with my measurements. I don't like to be too picky. And then half a cup of oats. Baking powder and baking soda. I'm gonna add some salt. And we're gonna chop some walnuts. Oh my gosh, these muffins look really good. Let's see if there's cinnamon. Yeah, vanilla. Cinnamon. Put some cinnamon in there. <laughs> Done. Let's add these to the muffin tins. I feel like these are gonna be so good. Perfect. Pop these in. So I just pop it in for 15 minutes and then they'll be ready. Oh yeah. Oh, these are gonna be so good. We're gonna taste test the muffins now. They look amazing. They're perfectly, like, a little crispy on top. I can already tell they're gonna be moist. Oh yeah. Oh, they smell so good. Mm. Oh my gosh, we need to go bring this to the kids. Huge thank you to Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. With all the dishes and cleaning I do, raising a big family, it's important to me to use products that create less waste and are also made without harmful ingredients. Blue Land's products are effective, convenient, safe for use, affordable, and sourced from clean ingredients. Unlike your traditional liquid cleaners that are sold in single-use plastics, with Blue Land, all you need to clean your house or hands is this nickel-sized tablet. Blue Land uses no single-use plastic in any component, from the bottles to tablets to wrappers to shipping. Their products are vegan and cruelty-free. They are also made without ammonia, VOC, soy and nut, chlorine bleach, and parabens. And Blue Land is also EPA certified. It feels so good to not pay for wasteful plastic bottles, and you're also saving money. I used to pay five to six dollars for a bottle of cleaner or hand soap, but with Blue Land, it's just two dollars a tablet, and it goes as low as one fifty-five if you buy in bulk, which really adds up. I got the Clean Essentials Kit, which includes a foaming hand soap, multi-surface cleaner, bathroom cleaner, and a glass and mirror cleaner, and tablets to go with the bottles. Instead of buying individual cleaning products, if you get a kit, you already get a 20% savings. Plus, if you click my link below, you get an extra 20% off. All you have to do is click my link below to get 20% off your first kit. You do not want to miss this.
Alright, next we're gonna make a pasta salad. I love cold pasta salad. This mm -hmm. was Hannah's idea. Especially with like the vinegary, the olives, it's so good. Mustard, we got lime, we got different vegetables, kidney beans to make it filling and high protein, and it's just gonna be super good. Start by boiling water and cooking pasta according to box instructions. We'll use brown rice bow tie pasta, but you can use whatever kind of pasta you prefer. While the pasta is boiling, drain and rinse the kidney beans. Next, dice the onion, celery, tomatoes, and olives. Chop the fresh herbs, and once the pasta is finished cooking, drain pasta and add everything to a large mixing bowl. Then make the sauce. because we have nutritional yeast which will help make it really creamy. So I'm just going to pour nutritional yeast along with the lime and then also some tahini. A little bit of maple syrup, mustard, half a cup of water, salt and pepper to taste, half a teaspoon. and then we'll blend. Yummy. I cannot wait to eat this. I love fresh dill. It is my favorite herb. Really? You have oh, okay. the bean. There's just a lot going on. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. This bomb. This is so good. Mm -hmm. Really fast thing mm -hmm. to prep and then it's already done. That was in the fridge. All right, next we're gonna make uh, nut butter dates with hemp seeds on top. It's so simple, it's not even really a recipe, but it's definitely a snack that I make all the time for the kids, especially if we're going to the beach or a hike or somewhere where I just want something quick and super tasty and filling. This is it. Yeah, it's got the sugars and the fats and it's just so satisfying. There goes the date. <laughs> if you only have access to dry dates or you've only ever tried a dry date, I would try to get your hands on some of the wet juicy dates because dates actually aren't a dried fruit. It's not like, you know, um, a raisin is a dried grape. A date is just a date and um, they're supposed to be moist and delicious. We are using some fresh dates today. They are so good and gooey. You can order them online if you can't find them at your farmer's market because we definitely don't have them at our farmer's market. <laughs> and we're gonna use macadamia nut butter and some peanut butter, half and half. And hemp seeds. Plant-based diversity. This little snack is super easy to make. Just pit the dates, add nut butter of choice, and sprinkle with hemp seeds. So it makes like a little sandwich kind of, like a date sandwich. And the kids love these. Also gonna take these along with those muffins tomorrow. Now we're gonna make avocado toast. This is also another super simple snack that we love to make throughout the week. Toast your favorite bread, we like sourdough. Mash your avocado, then add salt, pepper, and garlic powder to taste. We also often top it with sauerkraut or diced tomatoes. So good. Now we're gonna make some mason jar salads and they're gonna be really pretty and rainbow. Yes, I am super pumped about this because a lot of times I wanna make a salad, but I don't wanna spend the time doing it. I'm really Too much busy chopping. with the kids. Yeah. yeah, and so if it's already all ready to go, you just grab all the veggies that are pre-chopped in the mason jar, dump it into your bowl, and top it with a dressing of choice. And avocado. Let's do it. Use avocado. For this, all you need to do is put the heaviest veggies on the bottom and the lighter ones like lettuce and arugula on top. We also got some carrots from the garden. So since 
since these are the hard vegetables, we're gonna put these at the bottom. This time we used purple cabbage, red bell pepper, drained and rinsed garbanzo beans, garden carrots, green leaf lettuce, and arugula. Store in the fridge with an airtight lid, and when you're ready to eat, dump a jar into a large salad bowl with your favorite dressing and some avocado, and you're ready to go. Get the highest quality vegetables, lettuce, and all the veggies that you can, preferably from the farmer's market or organic at least if you can't get it from the market. Um, because the higher quality it is, the better it's going to taste and it's going to make your salad that much better. And, and it's going to make you want to eat salad more often. <laughs> yes, and it's more nutrient rich as well. There's more nutrients in it for you. And I love to top my salads with a really simple dressing where you can do whichever dressing that you prefer. Um, I love adding white balsamic vinegar and some tahini and sliced avocado as well as some sea veggie dolce for that wonderful iodine that's so important. And if you're like opening the fridge and you're like, what should I eat? And you see these beautiful veggies I know, I really the think fridge. there's something about making your food beautiful. It makes it taste better. Yeah. It makes the whole experience better. It really does. Look how gorgeous these are. Perfect, easy meal prep. enjoyed making these recipes. That was so fun. Watching us yes. make these recipes together. I had a lot of fun and I'm super pumped about everything we made. We're going to take about half the stuff tomorrow for Ellis's baseball game and then we're going to go to the beach after. And it's just the perfect meal prep. And then the other half, we've already eaten already. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to save these for like salad days um, over the next few days when we're ready for a salad. Also, if you are looking to go vegan or you want some help and some guidance on how to go vegan for good and you want to thrive, there's just so many amazing reasons for eating plant-based, then check out my sister's course. She has a course that she recently came out with called Vegan for Good. I'll put a link below for you. It's amazing and I would love to see you guys join. Bye. Bye. Bye.